and shoot. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Uh huh. Me Who see. are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. That hit us. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Nav Scoliote, Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. Melkoisen tyypin ottanut siilit mukaan. I thought you retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. Ah, puujalka. Tai tekojalka. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Paras mies homma. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The uh -huh. emperor of explosives. Fat man. Fat man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. Oh, and that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't mm, worry about me. Yo. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. Any hmm. other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? <clears throat> There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. <laughs> That's <laughs> not <laughs> amateurs. <laughs> what we'll try here instead is yep. a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. Uh -huh. How long does the effect last? 
There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. Mika? It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. Uh, the sensor also picks up that particular sensor. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. Mm, and common dude, sense dude. wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Location, Big location, shell location. consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two, a total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Take this. Nani. What's this? Security card issued to Shell What's personnel. What's this? <laughs> the big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Ryden, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. Yeah. You need it to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... 
You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. I saw some what the... If anything comes up, let me know. Okay, I is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Pucksbees. Semper Fi. That's my real cover. That man's no seal. What? I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Semper Fi. Marine Corps talk. Me? Oh, tota. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. Hmm? I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. <laughs> what about that you? Ride in. They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by Kodak from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Kaveri taitaa tietää mistä. Niin kuin hänen kirkko räjähti sitten. Eli 12 pommia. Enemy. I need help.
Nothing here. Somebody there. <laughs> it's the enemy. I need help. Understood. Oh. Unit, additional unit to strike. Cut the enemy off. Rose, no comment? About? I've killed someone. Jack, it's a battlefield. My opponents are living, breathing human beings. This isn't like the VR training. They have bodies. They have had lives. I took all that away from them. But you've got no choice if you want to survive. And yet, maybe because of the VR training, I can't help but try and block out that reality. It's the only way I can manage to fight. Jack. What? I don't care what it takes, just as long as you come back alive. Do whatever it takes, please. Just come back in one piece. Okay. I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja, complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Jack, is that you? Jack, do you remember the day we met? I'm kind of busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There were all these tourists around you, in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. 
I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. The C-4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. This is all wrong. This is something only an Alitum would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No. There's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Kliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. You're looking pretty good. Yeah? I wonder how Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin is doing. Well, he's doing pretty good too. Oh, really? I'm glad. Why are you so worried? Huh? About Pliskin. Well, I mean, he's defusing the bombs along with you. If he screws something up, you'll be... I guess so. He'll be all right, I'm sure. Don't worry about it. Okay. Hang in there. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. It appears that Fat Man placed bombs within each of the struts. It's likely there are no bombs planted on the connecting bridges. Head for the struts for which you have not yet finished disposing of the C4. One more bomb diffused. There was one I managed to find only because I took a good look in first-person view. You should try it too.
Commander. It's the enemy. I need help. Understood. Back up unit. Head for the EF connecting bridge. Priority one. Don't let the enemy get away. <laughs> Nothing here. <laughs> Is there somebody there? No sign of the missing man. Nothing else to report. No one's going to leave a bomb in a place that easy to reach. It would be more worthwhile to search convoluted areas that can't be reached simply by walking. This is Raiden. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. 
but the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news, either. These are sensor-proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Bliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb five years ago. I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield, and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs then. You do that too, right? I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for Peg Leg Peter. He's gone for good. Mikkiä tosiaan ääneen. Mä oon huomannut, että ton, jos käynnistäis ton opsin uudestaan, niin, niin, tai Streamlabs, de, Streamlabs Desktopi, siis niin sitten se, sitten se olisi kyllä mikki toimis, mutta en tiedä. Sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live, which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then wait, Bliskin. Uh -oh. Damn, that was it. What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down. What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right, the one in shell one should be counting down too. Hurry. What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Right, move. Get to the bottom of strut A now. Yeah, I'm. Sit there, you are. 
se alkaa täältä... Täältä näin niinku kaukaa. Hälytystä, niin pääsee juoksemaan niin maratonin helpommin. Sisässä, mutta miten sinne sukellukkuun pääsee? Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pliskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Yeah. <laughs> Epäilen, että se on nyt tossa noin niin sukelluspuvussa, mutta sinne ei näyttänyt olevan mitään niinku keinoa päästä sen luokse. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Noni. Good work, Raiden. It's a great tuli. loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high, but the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? 
Rescue the president. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Jaha, presidentti pitäisi sitten Resident Evil ee, tota noin, pelastaa. Siinä on niinku oma, oma hommas. Tässä on nyt tänään juoksenetun näiden pommien perässä mukavasti. Raiden, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. Oko? Okay. What? A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. Jaha. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the president. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt. They're all in danger. Jeff, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well, looks like he's turned his radio off too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the president. You can start off by getting to the upper level of strut A. Ja, Fliskin on poissa. Joo, linjalta. Surullista. Taitaa olla pomotappelun aika. I can't tell you how happy I am that you were alive after all. I knew this moment would come. Show yourself and finish me. Like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh crap. That's not him. Ah, can I see me interesting. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune. Lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry! Kill me, please! 